At the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST, in Boulder, Colorado, scientists use laser cooling and trapping techniques to create ultra-precise clocks. David Wineland is the leader of the group that researches ever more precise ways to establish the basic unit of time, the second. I would say in the business of clocks, it has always been true for the last 10 centuries at least that when a better clock was built, a use was immediately found for it. Continue point two miles, then turn right on Lake Street. For example, the global positioning system, in order to capture the information correctly, you need to know what time it is to nanoseconds or less precision. So you might ask, well, aren't we good enough now? And I think the answer is no. And this, I think, this is unending. But beyond the advances in practical applications, more accurate clocks might even challenge our current understanding of one of the fundamental interactions between matter and energy. On the more fundamental side, what we're always hoping for is that we might discover something that nobody has seen before. It would for us to be kind of hitting the jackpot. Of course, we aren't uh, banking on this, but we, we certainly want to keep our eye out. Time and frequency can be measured more accurately than any other physical quantity. Thus, ultra-accurate clocks can be used to test our physical understanding of the atoms that comprise the clocks themselves. 